क्वेश्चन सेज विच पेयर ऑफ मालिक्यूल्स विल हैव परमानेंट डाइपोल मोमेंट फॉर बोथ मेंबर्स यू कैन सी पेयर ऑफ मालिक्यूल्स गिवन इन द ऑप्शंस एंड क्वेश्चन इज विच पेयर ऑफ मालिक्यूल्स इज पोलर बाय नेचर पोलर मालिक्यूल्स आर द मालिक्यूल इन व्हिच डाइपोल मोमेंट इज नॉन जीरो ओके इन व्हिच डाइपोल मोमेंट इज नॉन जीरो ऑलवेज कीप इन माइंड If the central element, if the central element in a molecule has lone pair, its dipole moment will never be zero. It will always be polar by nature. Okay. And one more thing. One more thing. We can say related to electronegativity also. Higher the electronegativity of the central element, higher is the dipole moment. Another point. Higher the number of lone pair over the central element, higher is the dipole moment. And higher is the dipole moment, higher is the polarity. Okay. Based on this fact, we can answer this question. We have a NO2. Okay. It is supposed to have one negative charge. Let me mention one negative charge is, and here also one negative charge is supposed to be. Here also we can mention one negative charge. Okay. If we draw the structure of a NO2, we have nitrogen, okay, forming double bond with one oxygen and single bond with another oxygen, okay. Oxygen forming double bond will have two lone pair. Oxygen forming single bond will have one lone pair, okay. In this case, it is supposed to carry one negative charge, okay. Nitrogen is having lone pair. Nitrogen is the central element. Since nitrogen has lone pair. Its dipole moment will never be zero. Hence, we can see it is polar by nature and permanent dipole moment will be there. Why? Because nitrogen central element has lone pair. Now we talk about oxygen. Okay, oxygen present in ozone. So three oxygen are there. Three oxygen. Okay, it is forming double bond with one oxygen. This oxygen oxygen is the central element, and it is forming single bond with another oxygen. Oxygen forming double bond will have two lone pair. Oxygen forming single bond will have three lone pair. Three lone pair is there. Okay. You can see in general how many valence electron oxygen has six. So you can see here we have two valence electrons, three valence electron, four valence electron, and five valence electron. It is six valence electron is there. Okay. Six valence electron. Single bond it has formed. But now you can see it is supposed to carry one positive charge and it is supposed to carry one negative charge. Why it is so? In general, if we draw the structure, so we have double bond with one oxygen. It forms a coordinate bond with another oxygen. This central element, okay? It donates electron pair. It donates electron pairs like this structure we have. And always keep in mind this coordinate bond is equal to one negative sign, one positive sign, and one covalent bond. This is what is happening. Electron density is moving from this oxygen to this oxygen. That's why this side we have negative charge. And since electron density is moving from here, so it will carry positive charge. Okay. One positive, one negative, and one one, one covalent bond. One positive, one negative, one covalent bond. And this entire portion is equal to one coordinate bond. Th in this place, this negative, positive, and this covalent bond. In this place, we can mention one coordinate bond also. This structure is also correct. This structure is also correct. But if you look at here, oxygen is having one lone pair. Here also one lone pair is there. And if lone pair is there, its dipole moment will never be zero. It will always be non-zero. Some polarity will be there definitely. So both have permanent dipole moment. And we can see we got the answer in the first option itself. Now let's say if you go for the second option. SiF4 is there. In this case, SiF4 is there. Carbon silicon. Okay. So it is forming how many sigma bond? We have four sigma bond. Then hybridization will be what? SP3. And then after this, we get tetrahedral. Central element does not carry any lone pair. And if a molecule is having regular geometry, which we get by hybridization. Okay. I am talking about hybridization. It is having regular geometry. Molecule having regular geometry will always have dipole moment zero. Okay, similarly CO2 also. In this case, we can see C double O. This is also C double O. How many sigma bond? Two sigma bond. Then this is what SP, and this it will have linear geometry, regular geometry. Carbon does not carry any lone pair, hence its dipole moment will also be zero. In this case, SiF4 dipole moment is zero because we calculated already. And in this case, CO2 its dipole moment is also zero. You can see. 
we have the first option in which both molecules are polar by nature have a non-zero dipole moment why because the central element is carrying lone pair if you like this video please share and subscribe to the channel